The American Psychological Association APA, defines personality as individual differences in characteristic patterns of thinking, feeling, and behaving. Understand the differences between individuals by understanding their personality traits. Gordon Walport and other psychologists claim that we can best understand the differences between individuals by understanding their personality traits. Gordon Allport's list contained 4,000 personality traits, Raymond Cattell had 16 personality factors, and Hans Isink offered a three-factor theory. Many researchers felt that Cattell's theory was too complicated, and Isink's was too limited in scope. As a result, the Big Five personality traits emerged, and are used to describe the broad traits that serve as building blocks of personality, the most prevalent personality framework is the Big Five, also known as the Five-Factor Model of Personality. The Five Basic Personality Traits is a theory developed in 1949 by D.W. Fisk 1949, and later expanded upon by other researchers, including Norman, 1967, Smith, 1967, Goldberg, 1981, and McRae and Costa, 1987. Big Five Personality Traits include Openness to experience, agreeableness, extroversion, neuroticism, conscientiousness. First personality trait is openness to experience. Openness is a characteristic that includes imagination and insight. An eagerness to learn and experience new things is particularly high for this personality trait. It leads to having a broad range of interests and being more adventurous when it comes to decision making. Openness to experience, sometimes referred to as intellect, represents differences in intellectual curiosity, aesthetic sensitivity, and imagination. Highly open individuals enjoy thinking and learning, are sensitive to art and beauty, and generate original ideas. People who are high in this personality trait also tend to be more adventurous and creative. Openness to experience refers to one's willingness to try new things as well as engage in imaginative and intellectual activities. It includes the ability to think outside of the box. Those who score high on openness to experience are perceived as creative and artistic. They prefer variety and value independence. They are curious about their surroundings and enjoy traveling and learning new things. People who score low on openness to experience prefer routine. They are uncomfortable with change and trying new things so they prefer the familiar over the unknown. As they are practical people, they often find it difficult to think creatively or abstractly, they have a narrow range of intellectual and creative interests. Second personality trait is agreeableness. Those who score high on agreeableness captures differences in compassion, respectfulness, and acceptance of others. Agreeable individuals experience emotional concern for others' well-being treat others with regard for their personal rights and preferences and hold generally positive beliefs about others. This personality trait includes attributes such as trust, altruism, kindness, affection, and other prosocial behaviors. Those low in agreeableness may be perceived as suspicious, manipulative, and uncooperative. They may be antagonistic when interacting with others, making them less likely to be well-liked and trusted. Third personality trait is extroversion. Extroversion represents individual differences in social engagement, assertiveness, and energy level. Highly extroverted individuals enjoy socializing with others, are comfortable expressing themselves in group situations, and frequently experience positive emotions such as enthusiasm and excitement. Extroversion is a personality trait characterized by excitability, sociability, talkativeness, assertiveness, and high amounts of emotional expressiveness. People high in extroversion are outgoing and tend to gain energy in social situations. Being around others helps them feel energized and excited. Those who score low in extroversion are often referred to as introverts. These people tend to be more reserved and quieter, they prefer listening to others rather than needing to be heard. Introverts often need periods of solitude in order to regain energy as attending social events can be very tiring for them. 
of importance to note, is that introverts do not necessarily dislike social events, but instead find them tiring. Introverted individuals tend to be socially and emotionally reserved, they have less energy to expend in social settings and social events can feel draining. Introverts often require a period of solitude and quiet in order to recharge. Fourth personality trait is neuroticism. Neuroticism captures differences in the frequency and intensity of negative emotions. Highly neurotic individuals are prone to experiencing anxiety, sadness, and mood swings. Neuroticism is a personality trait characterized by sadness, moodiness, and emotional instability. Individuals who are high in neuroticism tend to experience mood swings, anxiety, irritability, and sadness. Those low in this personality trait tend to be more stable and emotionally resilient. Fifth personality trait is conscientiousness. Conscientiousness represents differences in organization, productiveness, and responsibility. Highly conscientious individuals prefer order and structure, work persistently to pursue their goals, and are committed to fulfilling their duties and obligations. Conscientiousness is one defined by high levels of thoughtfulness, good impulse control, and goal-directed behaviors. Highly conscientious people tend to be organized and mindful of details. They plan ahead, think about how their behavior affects others, and are mindful of deadlines. Those who score high on conscientiousness can be described as organized, disciplined, detail-oriented, thoughtful, and careful. People who score low on conscientious personality trait tend to be more disorganized and may dislike too much structure, comfortable with disorder, and less motivated to complete tasks. They may also engage in more impulsive and careless behavior. Thank you, love your life. Enjoy your life, stay tuned for more lectures. Subscribe this channel please.